Hello, morning of day two. I had to stop last night because I was getting eaten alive by midges out here. It was about half past nine at night, and uh, I didn't get much further than the, the end of the last little video. I checked the um, spark plugs, etc., and uh, they were all fine. So I'm just about to whip off the cam belt cover and those two camshaft covers. Okay. Hello, it's. Um Voice over time again. My little lassie got hold of the camera and uh, we just had to um, improvise a little bit. So the audio on this was a bit uh, compromised. You can see there the timing marks. The timing belt on this has obviously been off at some point. It did actually say on the cam cover that it had been changed at 127,000 kilometers or miles, I'm not sure, um, which isn't a lot less than the current mileage, uh, but it also says 1990, uh, wrong, 2007. So on that basis it's been done a couple of years. These are the parts that we're going to clean up. You can see uh, my daughter there, she's pointing at the uh, the parts who wanted to get involved in the video making. Um, so that's what they came off the car like. They were a bit mucky to say the least and dirty. Um, this is the uh, the bar that comes as standard on a stage. You've got a, a standard anti-roll bar at the front or front brace bar um, which is quite good. Uh, it does, does whether it makes a difference or not I'm not sure but it certainly looks nice. And here we've got a shot of the cam covers mid cleanup. The one on the left there is the one that I've just started with. Right, there we go, painted up. Um, similar colour to the Skyline. However, uh, we only had one tin of blue, so they will need a bit of tidying up. The blue coat is a bit thin over the top of the gold. Um, so I'll take them off at some point. I had to do the same thing with the Skyline. Um, just simple fact I didn't have enough blue paint. But they needed doing, um, and I thought it was worthwhile with sorting out the uh, the plugs and the, the core packs as well. I've done that. That hard pipe in uh, Ford Graphite Grey, as I have, as I have with the uh, the cam cover, cam belt cover rather. So that's that. All right, just a little bit of tidying up to do on the strut brace on this section here. Not sure if you can see in the sun. Yep, there's a little bit there that you can see where the rust got under the original paint. So I'll tidy that up. Let the paint dry. It's bakingly hot out here, so it's almost an oven for the paint. The paint was drying as it was touching the metal. Um, but I'll give it an hour or so and then um, might as well do some editing of the video while I'm uh, waiting and then I'll refit them all. all right, bye. Hello again. Right, back together. So now what we're going to do is see if it runs. So fingers crossed and uh, We'll find out. Success! She runs. It wasn't exactly uh, rocket science, just taking the engine apart and putting it back together again. But you never can tell with these things. She died in there at uh, just a smidge over a thousand. This obviously stone cold. Um, as opposed to me, I'm baking hot, I've got all the windows open. Um, because it must be close on 29, 30 degrees in this car. Um, it's a bit warm. Yeah. There you go. Proof is in the pudding. Alright, so she ran. Final voiceover. Um, because I was not quite uh, up to speed. I think I was bakingly too hot out there and uh, things weren't coming to mind. So she's got the NGK plugs in. She's running the standard coil packs, as I say. Um, we have a few rust issues. Also, there's a couple of nuts and bolts there. You can see that the, the cam shaft covers have been taken out before. Um, the bolts are not the original ones that have been put back in. So... There's just little bits and bobs. Um, 
But other than that, no dramas. I didn't manage to paint the racks for the coil packs. I've left them alone, and I've not painted the centre section that coil pack cover. You'll see that's just standard. That's simply due to a lack of paint. The paint was really a byproduct of the fact that I wanted to check what coil packs were on her, and uh, also what spark plugs we were running. So we've done a wash up, and there we go. She runs. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, there'll be more videos coming soon. The Skyline's returning next week from Night Racer with the rust all sorted, so that's going to be sticking up, ready for Devon Modified at Honiton, uh, July 25th. So keep watching. There'll be more happening soon. Bye for now.